Many thanks to Jerb, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Pandemonium, Lion Loss, Lily, Sauerkraut, Mustang, and Jerry for making this video possible. Explosives can detonate inside of our clothing and when attached to a vest, making explosives the deadliest items to loot and carry around in Daisy. So in this video, we're going to investigate which explosives will make you go boom, how items take damage inside our inventories, and there's several different ways to protect against this. Of all the items that can explode in Daisy, I'm only going to include the ones that do damage to our characters in some form because smoke grenades exploding inside your inventory is not a big deal. With that said, there are 9 explosives that negatively impact our characters in Daisy, with all but the plastic explosive detonating when they become ruined, armed or not. Outside of the inventory, it doesn't matter how these remaining 8 become ruined, if it goes red, you're probably dead. However, this changes when an item is placed inside an inventory or is attached to a vest slot because of these 8, only three of these eight will become damaged and therefore can become ruined inside the inventory and therefore explode inside your inventory or attached to a vest slot there's no difference between an inventory or a vest slot they're exactly the same which also applies when attached to a player so on the floor or attached to a player these are going to behave the same so the three explosives that can be detonated inside our inventories are the 40 mil grenade rounds for the m79 the gas canister and the landmine the 40 mil grenade rounds that can hurt you are the explosive rounds and the gas rounds, but the smoke rounds will detonate too, and this is regardless of if they're inside the inventory or attached to the vest slot. If an explosive round is ruined inside your inventory or attached to a vest slot, it's a GG for you, but will also kill everybody that isn't wearing protection up to around 12 meters and severely injures up to around 20 meters too. So carrying this item is not just deadly for you, it's deadly for everybody around you. The gas round is much less deadly and won't do much but create a gas cloud much like normal, but the gas cloud won't follow you, it's not like a smoke grenade where it follows you around. As soon as the gas round explodes, it will drop to the floor and you just run away from it. The gas canister getting shot in your inventory inflicts a very low amount of health damage, but 60 shock damage, so only 15 shock damage shy of getting KO'd. This means that any weapon that can cause a gas canister to explode will inflict enough shock damage initially to get you above that 75 shock damage threshold and KO you from when the gas canister explodes. Now if you get KO'd by the gas canister itself, which is very likely to happen if it does explode, you get the full 50 second KO timer instead of the lower timer for the projectile weapons which is plenty of time for somebody to follow up a shot on you. The landmine is very similar to the gas canister but is a guaranteed KO on you for 50 seconds when detonated inside your inventories with the added bonus for removing a huge 70 health from you or 70% and finally a generous sprinkle of leg snap for 15 minutes. So of these four types exploding inside your inventory, the explosive round is by far the deadliest. So much so that you need to listen very carefully to me when I say this. This should be basic, well-known info for every single player. Spread this information. The explosive round is incredibly deadly to carry. If you carry this round, you need to know how to protect yourself against it exploding on you and wiping your whole squad. Having any of these four explode inside your inventory will certainly be a problem for you and probably your squad too, but you can avoid it altogether by simply placing these items inside containers inside other inventories, because remember, if it's two layers deep, your life you get to keep. However, if it's inside of a tent, barrel or other storage item, the container will get pooped out when the storage item becomes ruined, where it can then take damage and explode, which makes clothing superior in this case. Another way to protect against this is being very lucky in finding the plate carrier and the pouches and attaching the pouches to the plate carrier because items inside pouches don't take damage even if the plate carrier and pouches become ruined and even if you shoot directly at the pouches. This is because where you shoot on a piece of clothing doesn't dictate which item inside will become ruined or even take damage. For example, aiming to the bottom right here on a player won't damage items in the bottom right of an inventory. In fact, it's completely and utterly random with a small chance to not do any damage to the items inside at all. Now how many slots an item takes up doesn't make a difference because it selects an item to damage randomly inside of inventory, which means, as you can see here, only one item per bullet is going to be damaged. Which item gets damaged is based on which body part the clothing piece is attached to, so for the pants, it's only going to be if you shoot somebody in the legs that a pants item is going to be damaged, but for the torso, it's one item for the chest, one from the vest, and one from the backpack, remembering that sometimes it can do no damage to items at all. 
The amount of damage an item inside your inventory takes is relative to the amount of damage a gun does, so the SVD is much more likely to detonate an item compared to the VSS, even if that VSS is using armor piercing rounds, which means that damage is king in ruining items inside inventories, not the armor piercing capabilities of the VSS. In addition, only gunshots do damage to items inside clothing, or at least enough to actually ruin and detonate any of these four, because as you can see here, explosives just don't trigger other explosives to explode. Even when detonated inside a piece of clothing, an explosive will not cause other explosives to explode. Different clothing pieces transfer damage to items inside them differently. That sounds confusing, but for example, the top and the pants are the worst at protecting items, which transfer damage at a relative rate of 5, where the vest clothing pieces transfer damage at a rate of 3, and the backpack transfers at a rate of 1. The lower the number, the better it is at protecting your items. This means placing items inside your backpack will protect them the most, but like I said earlier, the plate carrier pouches on the plate carrier transfer zero damage over so a transfer rate of zero the best you can get and the containers inside inventories is the same zero damage however even if you have none of these items and even if you are completely naked you could stop these four detonating by simply holding the item inside your hand as items inside your hands cannot take damage at least from the testing that i did now if you have any other tips to protect us from the deadly outcome of picking these four up or if you believe this should be changed let us know in the comments thank you very much for watching and i'm off to get married